Now then, this is your third and final knot for this week. All these three first knots have been what I call tied in the hand. The ones next week will be all tied round a piece of wood. So the third one, the third knot is called the bowline or bowling. Doesn't matter what you say, bowline or bowling. Now then, there's your ropes again, black, red. First of all, just get rid of the red end of the rope. This is the hardest bit. Take the black there in this hand, with your other hand, take hold of the rope and turn it over itself like that. And you make a figure six. Can you see a figure six? And the figure six must be over the top like that. Okay. Now then, gather the red end of the rope. See? Now then, this is the classic tail. This is the rabbit. The rabbit goes, comes out of the hole, round the back, runs round the back of the tree and goes back down the hole and you pull. And what you have there is a bowline. I'll do it again this one because everybody gets confused with this one. So take that end of the rope again. Black end. This is the this is the hardest bit. Turn your hand over like that and make a figure six. Figure six. And it must be over the top like that. Rabbit. Red end is the rabbit. Red for rabbit. Comes out of his hole. Runs around the back of the tree. And goes back down the hole. And there you have a bowline. Now then, the bowline is the classic mountaineer's knot. It's for used in mountain rescue because, can you see this loop here? This loop will not slip at all. And you can tie it round someone who's in trouble on the hills or the mountains or in the caves. And you can rescue them. That knot will not break before the rope breaks and that's a bowline don't forget the rabbit and the number six okay i'll see you next week